if you don't have this, you'll spend time practicing when you think you're hitting it further and you're actually hitting it less and yeah, you're losing really know how and you're losing control. Now, yeah, now your deal, I might have put the lines on this hand, if you make a mistake with this hand, it's got to go a little bit this way of that line, not that way. Okay. Because you struggle with catching the face up. Okay, so the, the more this hand turns under, the easier it is to catch the face up. And that thumb goes right there. Okay. Right there. Yeah, well, I moved your grip. Okay, that's, look. But look at the distance, Jesus. 188. 188, 128 miles an hour club head speed, 21.9. Little so high, a little high. Little high. For you guys, it's not about speed. So you, exactly. You, you got so much damn speed. If you feel like you're hitting a, a half swing shot, just smooth, your hands are so fast. See, see that ball's, I mean, that's just tag. I, I miss there's there's a reason why no player on tour has a right grip like yours. There's a reason. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you probably don't want to be the first one. What if I'm if I'm going straight at that blue flag? Uh -huh. What what's most important for me to be lined up shoulder, or is it more of about a alignment with the club face when okay. I walk up to the ball? All right. You guys, here's a good. But I mean, I, I no, despite no. anything that I've ever like known about golf, like. Like you said, baseball players are good with their hands. I can hit the ball okay, and when I do hit the ball okay, I'm just not really sure where it's going to go. Like, I'll All right, strike you guys, the ball fine. You guys come over here. I want to show you, because this, this plays into what we were just going to talk about anyway. So what I do is I put, say we're going at that blue flag. blue flag, okay? So the first thing I do is I put a stick down like this in front of the ball, and I aim it straight at the blue flag. Okay, so that stick's aimed right at that blue flag. Okay. Now I put another stick down right here, parallel to that one. How long do you order sticks when we get home? Well, no, no, there. You can get them at Home Depot for a dollar. I can get you. A, Haney sells them in a box of four with a, in an oak box with a DVD for one hundred ninety nine ninety five. You can get them at Home Depot for a dollar twenty seven. Oh, so there you, go. you you pick. I'll be at Home Depot probably today. <laughs> get something. <laughs> Now this, we're going to talk about this too in a minute, because this is your start line. This is what guys are really, this is where the ball's got to start to go with that target. That thing. But to answer your question, here's what's important. When I come up to the ball, let me see your club. Yes. When I come up, I pick a target line, I aim the face, and then I set my body up. Now. When I set my body up, if you watch these guys, their eye line, their shoulder line, and their hip line usually is parallel to their start line. Their feet, I'll hit shots from here, I'll hit shots from here. Feet, that's kind of all over the map. You've got to make sure that your shoulders and your eyes are parallel to the line you want to start the ball on. Because if I set up and my eyes are like this, you're going to tend to swing on your eye line. If I set up and my eyes are this way, you're going to swing this way. So what you're trying to make sure is when you set up, you've got this so you can look down your target line to the target. You can get your shoulders lined up and your hips lined up. Now the next thing, you see that stick? Mm -hmm. I know that's my start line. So I'm going to start the ball over that stick. Now, here's the deal. Would you guys agree? If that ball went over that yellow stick and it went right over the top of that orange one, it would go just slightly to the left of that blue flag. Yes. Okay? Now here's what I want you to do. Oh shit. We're gonna take the driver because it's take the driver. Oh shit. Go set up to it. Let the big dog eat. Good luck, man. Now we're not gonna hit it. Eat loose? I want you to see no, I want you to see something. So set up to the ball. Get ready to hit it. If that ball went over this stick, would it go with that blue flag? Um, I think I'm going left. Okay, so this you'd have to hit the ball over here. To, no, no. What does it look like? To when me, you it look, looks like I'm going to miss to the left of it. But way to the right. If that ball hits this ball, it's going way to the right of that blue flag. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we know this is where it's got to start. 
Okay, so your start line visually screws you up. So if you get up to the ball, set up to it, not going to hit it, but here's the deal. So tell me, I'm going to start moving this ball. Tell me when, if that ball hits this ball, when is it going to go with that blue flag? If that ball hits this one. There. Okay, now here's the deal. This is where he thinks the target line is. So now you're going to come over. So if you make your swing, if you go up to the top, don't hit it, but just go up to the top. If you think this is where you got to go, what are your shoulders going to do? They're going to open up because you're going to hit it here. Yeah. This is where you got to hit gonna it. Or I'm going to try to... Keep them closed and I'm going to let this slide open. Well, yeah, because here's your start line. I want all of you to do this. Give, give the was I, did it look like I was aiming in the right place? Was no, I yeah, off? you're fine. What I'm telling you, what we're doing here first is we got to get your eyes to understand your start line. So you see, if that ball goes over that stick, uh -huh. it's going just to the left of that blue flag. Now, when you stand over there, if the ball starts here, where's it going to go? If it starts here, would it go with the blue flag? No, it, I'd say it's going to go right. Okay, so tell me when it looks like it would go with the blue flag. About right there, probably. Yeah. Okay, uh, so more, 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 more. Right, right there. Okay, so right this there. is where your brain thinks the target is. Right. That's why you you won't turn. So you don't turn enough. But your brain thinks the target's over here. So you swing back and you swing at this. No, no. See, you, this is where it's got to start. So if you go to the top, if if you've got to start the ball here. You're going to get turned more, and you're going to stay turned because you got to hit the ball over here. There you go. Does this make sense? Yeah. As far as aim goes, you just want to get your shoulders and your eyes parallel to your start line. Go ahead, you get up here. I want you to see this too. Tell me when it looks like it's going to go with the blue flag. If you hit this ball, put it right there. See, you guys are screwed because this is where your brain thinks the path has to go. So you're not going to hit the inside of the ball if you think you got to hit it here. What are you going to hit? The outside of the ball. And we're going to hit that way. Exactly. And somebody or says, gonna, or we're going to open up the face. And then you're going to open and, and go under to push it right. See, so you, your brain's getting mixed signals. Give me that, give me that club. I'm going to hit this ball. Now you got me locked in. <laughs> you got me locked. <laughs> He's fired up now. Nice and easy, Kevin. So your task would be what these guys do. They line up. They pick a start line. They know what that looks like. They make the club start the ball down their target line. See, they're really good. I could, I could put one of those reflectors up there and hit a ball through the reflector. Do you think that's part of the reason why I smother the ball left all the time? Now, so where did, you, like where did you hit it? Left. Way left. Okay, where I so thought it was going to go. Sam? For five bucks. Yeah. You like to gamble a little? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, for five bucks, <laughs> you make a swing. That ball has to start right of that stick. Right of it? It has to start right. I don't care where it ends up, but you got to make a swing and that ball's got to start to the right of that stick. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, you caught the stick. It caught the stick. Are you shitting me? That's a $10 shot. <laughs> now, now, here's the deal. How wow. much did you feel like that was going to go to the right? I did. But where'd it go? Straight. Did, okay, so you just found your feel for path that actually hit it online. That's how far off you are relative to your perception of path into the ball. Some of it. Wow. Okay, yeah, I think it makes sense too because I feel like the only adjustment I made was a bigger turn the, so that I could. That's right. that's right. So one of the biggest differences in golf and baseball, you guys are standing like this and you're right here going to hit a ball out there. And so you come to golf and this doesn't want to wind up because you're used to being here. Yeah, squared. Yeah. Okay, okay, but now the ball's here, so now you got to get there so you can hit the inside just like you hit the inside of a baseball. I gotta do that wow. Again. Does that make sense? I got to yeah. do it again. Because yeah. I always try to fight the no, no, amount no. of rotation because in baseball, if of I baseball, do that, you fight it, I'm late. You got, oh, you're late. So, okay. Wow. Here it's the opposite. So this so ball the, should be in line. Yep. And then all you're going to do. Just make that bigger turn. Yeah, whatever you have to do to start the ball right of that stick. There you go. There you go. Oh, Kevin, Kevin. That's all right, you came over it. This Plus, is, this is what, us at the driving range, though. We do something right one time, and we're like, oh, bigger well, turn. No, it's going to fix my whole the swing. Speed we're going here. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Hang on, let me get ball 350. We hit one great and we're like, wow, what did I do different? Oh, I'll take a bigger turn. Just do that every time. Yeah. Well, but you try to immediately make a bigger turn and hit it 
out of the park. You're right. So just hit no, it to no. the right side yeah. of that stick. Just make a swing. You don't have to hit it hard, but make a swing and then hit it to the right of the stick. Okay. Like that. So that was awesome. Now you go, well, I hit it online, and what did the ball do? It faded. So you, that ball. path, the face, the bat was a little late. But that's basically what the game is. It's path and face control. See, and you guys want to hit the inside of the ball, but because the ball's out in front of you, you, you practice staying right here. Yeah. And so then you come to golf, and you go right here, and you go here, and you're, you're late. Even with the irons, it should be the same thing. Only the ones you want to hit well. So. <laughs> <laughs> I tried again. That's crazy. Always. And what would you say, too, as far as, like, um, I mean, realistically, I, I don't know, how far is that to the end of the range? 350. Oh. How much do I really need? Well, you, you, if you can hit it, if you can hit it consistently 260, 270. Okay, so what is that? That's you're, you're scratch. 60, 70% yeah. effort level? Well, for you, you guys, more? for you guys, yeah. Kevin. See, you guys have got so much bat speed. We don't have to generate you don't, any more. This is way actually, lighter than the club that we swing. You actually got to back off because you've got so much speed. Less is more. See, most people get taught things that aren't relative to the face. And like say, I've done this a long enough with that baseball, I know what baseball players, when they come to golf, why they struggle. They struggle because first, wow, that 280, 182 miles an hour ball speed. What is that? Or is that? 100, yeah, it's 280 yard carry is what that was. That was a very easy swing. So the is only, that late? late? The, bet, the bat was late. That's so what it the, is. The face, the path was perfect. So when you say late, I'm getting here. The club, the club needs to beat me there. Well, see the difference in golf, you have to catch every ball deep. So, so all this I just want, has to get going earlier. Get the, your hands. That. Yeah, so your hands are that bat. So the bat is the face. So you've got to, you've got to get the toe of the bat to catch up a so little bit. I'm quick. getting turned, so. Yeah, you just got to square the bat. Oh, okay. Well, now that time you turned the bat over, but you also turned the path over. It's a lot easier than we perceive it to be. It's about consistency. It's about squaring the ball up and then also using a device like this to dial in your distances. That's the big key to golf. to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.